All right, dudes, welcome to the second chapter in this awesome guide to the BDCU. This time around, we're going to focus on director trademarks. My Cuenca's films usually employ a non-linear story structure, exploring time and memory with magical realism thrown into the mix. His characters, often nihilistic or rebellious, I'm gonna go get drunk. try to make sense of the world around them. Christ! I'm losing my mind! Nearly every single BDCU film has a reference to either Bruce Springsteen or Lou Reed and the Velvet Underground. Or both! It begins with Jerry Powell, who has both Lou Reed and Boss Records in his apartment. That kind of looks like the boss. Two other subtle nods. I feel like Lou Reed's version of an REM song or something. Yeah, like, Let me see, like, uh, what? this one goes out too, the, the one I love. Like that, that's kind of like Louie. This one goes out to the what I love! In IBA, Rody Cooper walks around with a t-shirt stating Bruce Springsteen is the only boss he listens to. I woke up in the back of some random car with a loaf of bread as a pillow. Like a Dirty French Novel is the most obvious plug of all as the title itself is directly plucked from Velvet Lyrics. Lou Reed Lyrics?! So how much does this ring cost? I'll pay you that. And in Odium for Arter, the character reads Please Kill Me, a book that not only covers the 70s punk scene in New York, but the origins of the Velvet Underground. And author, Alan Howell, is a fan. I'll be your mirror. The Velvet Underground, 1966. Then there's mirrors. Mike Cuenca sure loves his mirrors. Hey Fritz, is it me or is it hot in here today? It's 28 degrees Fahrenheit, you moron! Always find someone dancing. Two close friends who are always bickering. Always stupid. That's what you are, man. Got a point oh, would you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to think. You're doing it again. Oh, what? What am I doing now? Talking to yourself, you Freudian fucking nightmare. Well, you're still gonna do it, so why are you arguing with me? I don't wanna deal you're, with it. You're still gonna end up doing it, right? I'm not gonna do come it. On. Listen, come on. Just, come on. Just, what, come go on. Come on. Come on. They got any toppings? They got mustard. They got mayonnaise. Don't those are condiments. I thought you knew how to change a goddamn tire. All you need is a jet. <laughs> be friends if we didn't work together. Well, logistically speaking, yeah, but I would have never met you if I never worked there. You hey, put it on silent, right? I wish I could put you on silent. You do plenty of things behind my back. Name one, huh? Name one. I need an omnibus to fit all the things you hide from me. You have no idea what it's like to not be able to express yourself. Expressing yourself now. <gasps> and there's drug use sometimes accompanied by a trip-out scene. In Jerry Powell, Jerry loves to huff gas, a result of childhood trauma. And by the wayside, the characters eat mushrooms. And I'll be around, Rory swaps plain old fundraising cookies with ones containing weed. And the ditch has more mushrooms. And Boys About Town has acid trips, coke binges, and even speed. Ah! Let's not forget, Table Talk, AKA characters sitting around a table chatting. Tell me about this Simon. Is he like an artist or something? But I was told that that was your favorite show, the Raw Raw Show. Oh, I haven't seen it in ages. I had to watch every episode of the Raw Raw Show so I could talk to you about the Raw Raw Show. No, you did not. How many did you watch? And most, but not all, the films have this weird magical circle thing. 